This is really scary. <laughs> I can go, monkey. I can go. Oh my goodness. I can't find those monkeys anywhere. Oh, uh, hi. I'm Hippo, and uh, I can't find my monkeys. I can't find them anywhere. Hmm. And oh, uh, there you guys are. Come over here. Come over here. Okay, quit, quit tickling my feet. Oh, <laughs> oh okay, Miss Mom, I'm ready. Uh, this book is called Maggie's Monkeys by Linda Sandra Wells, uh, illustrated by Abby Carter. Yeah, Abby Carter. Sit tight, friends. Oh, monkeys, the story's about to begin. You're gonna miss out. You're gonna miss out. Oh, well, that's your problem. Hippo out. Last week, a family of pink monkeys moved into our refrigerator. At least that's what my little sister Maggie said. She announced that the monkeys were in there and put a bowl of peanuts for them next to the juice pitcher. Nobody else could see any monkeys, but that didn't seem to matter to anybody except me. Dad was careful not to shut the door on their tails when he took out the mayonnaise. Mom made banana pudding and filled an extra bowl for the monkeys. My old sister, Kate, helped Maggie dress the monkeys in invisible clothes, which she said matched their pink fur. I didn't think we should pretend there were monkeys in our refrigerator just because Maggie said so. After all, she's practically a baby. She even still sucks her thumb when she gets scared. When Dad and Maggie put a Do Not Disturb sign on the refrigerator door, I decided things had gone too far. I pulled Dad away and reminded him, There aren't any monkeys in there. He just smiled and said, Maybe they're hiding behind the olives. When Kate helped Maggie get the brother monkey down from the ceiling fan and put him back in the refrigerator, I whispered to her, It's too cold in there for monkeys. Kate whispered back, Maybe they're polar monkeys. When Mom let Maggie's monkey take a bubble bath with her, I waited for Mom outside the door. Maggie's monkeys aren't real, I told her. Mom reached out to pop a bubble that was floating by. Sometimes she said, it's hard to know what's real. Since nobody would listen to me, I tried to get used to living with Maggie's monkeys. It wasn't easy. When she invited me to a tea party, I accidentally sat in Mrs. Monkey's lap. Watch out, Maggie scolded. When Mr. Monkey sat next to me in the car, I said politely, ooh, ooh, ooh. He didn't answer. They speak English, Maggie explained. When the whole monkey family wanted me to read them a story, I picked Please Don't Feed the Animals. Maggie looked at me like I was crazy. Not that one, Jack, she whispered. It's about the zoo. <laughs> By the time my friends Calvin and Grady came over, I was pretty fed up with pink monkeys. Then Grady saw Maggie mashing up bananas and berries. What's that for? he asked. The monkeys, Maggie answered. Grady looked around. Monkeys? The ones in the refrigerator, she said. There are monkeys in the refrigerator? Calvin asked. He and Grady started giggling. Are they for dessert? Maggie's eyes got big. You don't eat them, she said. You play with them. Calvin and Grady burst out laughing. Grady went to the refrigerator and started to open it. No! Maggie cried. They'll get away! They were really laughing now. We just want to see, Grady said. He reached for the door again. 
Maggie's face was red and tears were starting down her cheeks. No! she yelled. She jammed her thumb into her mouth and gave it a quick, worried suck. I stepped in front of the door. Hey, I said, can't you read? The sign says, do not disturb. Oh, right, Grady said. Do not disturb the monkeys. That's right. I didn't move. Do not disturb the monkeys. There aren't any monkeys in your refrigerator, Calvin said. Are you sure, I asked. Maybe they're hiding behind the olives. They can't be. It's too cold in there for monkeys, Grady said. Not these, I answered. They're polar monkeys. Calvin and Grady looked at each other. You have polar monkeys in your refrigerator? Calvin asked. Yep, I said, drying Maggie's face. She sniffed and looked up at me. Pink ones. I looked down at Maggie. She was starting to smile again. I bent and picked up something from the floor. I think Mr. Monkey dropped his hat, I told her. She pulled her thumb from her mouth and pointed at my hand. That's a shoe, she said, sounding a little sorry for me. I shrugged, then I turned back to my friends. I felt Maggie take a step closer and lean against me. A family of pink polar monkeys moved into our refrigerator last week, I said, and we're keeping them. The end. Sorry, I like that story, Miss Mo. Me too. Yeah, that was really fun. I could read that over and over and over. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, friends! That was really fun! wonder what's up next. Click on Tumsky to subscribe. Click on the next show you want to watch. Click on the bell for further updates. See you soon.